Hey guys, so it's about 8.25. I'm getting ready for my night out with the police. And I am just going to show you how I get ready for... This is kind of like me getting ready for work. Because um, I have to ride around in a police car. In, a, in an official capacity. So, this will be your introduction to me as an army person. I am an army captain. I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. I'm an army captain. I've been in the army for eight and a half years. I commissioned, meaning I became an officer, uh, active duty officer in 2007. So it's been a little over eight years. And uh, I will be up for promotion to major coming up in this summer. So, okay, so once I smooth or just kind of detangle my hair, I added the conditioner, I take a brush and really smooth my hair down. I didn't come prepared because I don't have a hair um, scrunchy so I'm gonna have to get that all right okay so yeah I usually do my makeup right here on the floor I have a mirror um, that's sitting on the floor and this is where I do my makeup and everything. I don't know why I just like sitting on the floor. <laughs> it's just kind of more comfortable than like standing up and doing your makeup. So I'm just smoothing everything down. This brush is pretty hard, so that's why I'm wincing sometimes because it kind of hurts. I'm just smoothing everything down. And I'm hoping that I can at least, I'm going to at least show you guys me walking up to the police station. And then I'll show you guys um, me walking out of the police station and getting in the car, hopefully. And I'll see what else I can show you guys. I just think it's a really cool experience that most people don't get to see. Um, you know, riding in the front seat of the police car. Um, but there are some personal identifiable information that's spoken over the radio, which is like the only thing that, you know, they're concerned about when those calls come in, giving addresses and things like that. So I don't know how much I'll be able to show you, but I might be able to show you and just take the sound out. I'll try and do that. Okay, so everything's smooth. My favorite gel, pro gel, pro style gel. I'm gonna take that and my favorite styling toothbrush. This is a regular toothbrush. Dip it in the gel. And then I just apply this to my edges, just kind of loosely at first. And then I'm gonna go through and actually, actually style the edges. I just really like my edges to be smooth. So yeah, right now I am a company commander. I have a pretty full plate. I am a company commander and I am also going to school. I'm taking one class in a regular university until I can take the GRE so that I can get into grad school and then I'm also in a Bible school so my plate is pretty full right now which is why I kind of wanted to show 
you guys a little bit of my life and hopefully inspire you know, some young people into, you know, pursuing their dreams. And I don't know exactly where my life is going to take me. I'm still single. Um, I'm 30 years old. I have no children. So, you know, my options are very open right now. Okay, so I'm going to do a light, like I said, natural kind of makeup look where I'm going to just add some foundation. And this is like very quick and especially when you're working, you don't really have that much time to do a whole bunch. This is still a liquid foundation number 12 tan. So I just dab this on and it has this little spoon. And I just evenly apply it all over. And like I said, I just like to do this for coverage, just to even out my skin tone. Don't worry, I'm going to tighten up this sleeve. <laughs> but um, I just like to put this on for coverage so that it evens out my skin tone and everything looks even. Okay, and then I take uh, this brush and just kind of blend it all in. Gives it more of a matte finish because I don't use powder over top of it. And then I'm going to use this MAC blush it's called Pinch Me, and I'm going to use my slanted brush and just add a little of that on my cheeks. Not too much. I already have like a natural, naturally rosy cheek, but when, when I put that foundation on, it kind of blends everything out. So I just like to add a little bit. And then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. And that's really like filling my eyebrows and then mascara. And that's it. I'm using um, this Anastasia gel, eyebrow gel. And I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. Not really doing anything special here, just filling them in. Because I don't like it to be too drastic in uniform. I just want it to look professional. And I think this look will be great for any job. Obviously some some careers allow you to wear more makeup than others. In the army, you can wear makeup, but it has to present like, you know, a professional, natural appearance. It can't take away from the uniform. That's like the, kind of like the golden rule. So then once I fill them in, because they look kind of dark. I just take my slanted brush and go over it just lightly and that kind of like blends it in so it's not so drastic. And, and then I'm going to add mascara. Yeah, so I don't really know where, you know, my life is going to take me, which is why I wanted to start vlogging now because who knows exactly where I'm going to go next after command. Um, you know, if I get promoted, where I'll go, school, etc. 
I write and sing music, so that's one of my goals is to actually produce some of my music and get it out. So that's something that I would like to do and hopefully can share with you guys. And if you guys have questions for me, I would love to answer them. I'm a new vlogger, but I love responding to people. So please ask whatever you like and I will do my best to answer. So I just added the mascara and this is my work look. <laughs> It just gives you that little touch of professional beauty, I guess. <laughs> I gotta put these patches on and everything like that. So I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys, I guess, it'll be about 15, 20 minutes from now. All right, bye. Vlogs, I love these mini vlogs. I just like doing like short clips, okay? So right now I am going to, well, I'm trying to get my, I just gotta get my keys. Keys, my wallets and everything. My boots are in the car because I changed clothes at work the other day. And yeah, so this is my natural professional makeup look um, in better lighting. So you can see just exactly what I mean. But again, just foundation, a little blush, um, filling in my eyebrows and mascara, that's it. All right, so I got my wallet, keys, my boots are in the car. Um, I do need to like fix my pants real quick, so let me put this right here. I gotta tie these. Um, I'm really excited about tonight. I'm running a little behind, but the police station is not far from where I live, so it shouldn't take me that long to get there. Um, oh, my hat, I just almost forgot that. And I need to get my jacket that goes with this uniform because I have another, like a different color uniform. And the jacket looks different. So I need to get that too. Okay. I'm glad you guys, like I'm talking to you guys because I would have definitely forgot that. All right. So my hat is right here. Hat. Oh, my ring is not on there. Where is it? Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. Not good, not good, not good. Okay. I might have to turn this off. Because I can find my... Because I can find my rink. All right. My jacket. This is my jacket I'm talking about. And I need to find my rank. So I'm going to get off right here, and I'll see you guys later. Okay. So I'm going into the city of Killeen Police Department. About to start our ride along. I'm partner, my friend. Okay, so tonight I am going out with the Killeen Police Department, and my officer is over here. Somewhere he's in the car. So basically tonight we're going to ride around. This is not the same. No, mine's down. I have to wear oh, this man. vest. It's called a second chance vest, which is like supposed to ride, provide protection for like bullets, I guess, small caliber bullets. Did you guys hear that? Huh? No, I'm talking to the, this is my video. This is my officer. Officer. 
Hello. <laughs> so we're getting ready to go. Wish me luck. So I know this is a lot of clips, but um, I just want to show you guys the inside of the police car. This is like actually not a police car. It's like a truck. And there's like a computer here. And so not a lot of people get to sit in the front seat of a police car. You can see in the back there's like a cage. I guess if people get arrested or whatever. <laughs> my officer is... I call him my officer. But he's getting things ready. And I'll try and keep this on until he gets in the car. Let me put my seatbelt on. So this is the second time that I'll be riding with uh, Officer Pereira and it's a Friday night. It is a payday weekend, so things should be pretty interesting tonight. Um, there's supposed to be some concerts going on at some clubs, so we'll see. Like, I see him be back there getting things ready. It's just such a cool perspective that most people don't really get to see this perspective, so. I'm going to try and show you guys as much as I can. He's playing some good music right now. Alright, I think we're getting ready to go. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> Last time we went on a high speed chase. So I guess they have to test out their light So what do you have to do before you roll out? We have to pretty much PMCS our vehicles, make sure it's working properly. So if we get into a pursuit or get into something the vehicle might function, at least they know that we did everything we could to make sure that the vehicle was operable. And if something don't work, that deadline is the vehicle, then we have to get another one. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> like, is there any difference between the car and the truck? And yes, obviously. I mean, these are heavier. I mean, I, I like my I like my Caprice because it's faster. faster yeah. It's a lot faster, and these take forever to uh, get up and go. But I can carry more equipment in this vehicle than I can, and people actually sit more comfortable in, in the back of the Tahoe. All right, you guys heard it. So we've been riding around, um, it is like about 2 o'clock, and um, I did get to uh, interact with a soldier who was acting irate because he didn't want his car towed, um, but other than that, it's been pretty quiet tonight, which is what I was hoping for. <laughs> um, my officer doesn't really agree with that, but yeah, it's been pretty quiet, so... I don't know if I'll have anything exciting to show you guys on this one, but at least you got to see some of it. Alright, bye. Hi. Hi, ma'am. How are you? We got some work for you. Oh, yay. <laughs>